Prime Minister Narendra Modi reached Lao PDR to attend the India ASEAN and East Asia summits. The PM will hold bilateral talks with Japan and Lao PDR today on the sidelines of the summits. The PM has termed ASEAN a key partner for India's Act East policy. PM Modi has stressed on connectivity to boost regional ties. The all-party delegation on Kashmir has appealed to people of the state to shun the path of violence and resolve all issues through dialogue and discussion. The delegation members say there can be no compromise on the issue of national sovereignty. Favour talks with all stakeholders. Chief of Army Staff General Dalbir Singh met the Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh at his residence in New Delhi today. He discussed the prevailing situation in the Kashmir Valley. The United States has asked Pakistan to go after all terrorist groups operating on its soil. It has told Pakistan to investigate the Mumbai terror attacks with full accountability and justice. President Barack Obama has welcomed India's growing role in the Asia-Pacific region. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has said that GST is a transformational step and will bring tax rates down in the long run. Addressing the Economist India Summit in New Delhi, Finance Minister said, significant part of non-performing assets are due to sectoral problems. Aam Aadmi Party leadership continue to face heat over allegedly involved in sex scandals for granting party tickets. Punjab State Women Commission writes to DGP for probe into the allegations. MOS Home Affairs Kiran Rijiju addressed a conference on homeland security in the national capital where he underlined the need to develop border to secure borders, terms it key to nation security. Commerce and Industry Minister Nirmala Sitharaman has said that the World Trade Organization has asked India to prepare a paper that would form the basis for initiating discussions and work on a trade facilitation agreement in services. India is pushing for a TFA in services at the WTO as this sector has huge potential and contributes significantly to the country's economy. The BJP has accused the CPM's hand behind the bomb attack in its office in Thiruvananthapuram. Addressing a press conference in New Delhi, Union Minister and Senior BJP leader Nirmala Sitharaman has said that the attack is another instance of CPM-sponsored violence in the state against the BJP. The Supreme Court has directed all states and union territories to upload the FIRs on their websites within 24 hours of registration at police stations. A bench comprising Justices Deepak Mishra and C. Nagappan, however, extended the time up to 72 hours to upload FIRs for those states which are located in difficult terrain where internet connectivity is poor. Karnataka farmers have intensified the protests against release of water to Tamil Nadu. Chief Minister Siddharamaya has said they will abide by the apex court's order despite facing hardships. The Supreme Court had directed the state to release 15,000 cusecks of cowrie water to Tamil Nadu per day for 10 days. The United Nations has said that India is on the path of becoming a hub for high-tech world manufacturing even as global manufacturing growth is expected to remain low this year. The UN Industrial Development Organization has said this in its quarterly world manufacturing production report. The UN Security Council has condemned North Korea's launching of three ballistic missiles as President Barack Obama has called on the world body to tighten sanctions and further isolate the nation widely viewed as an international pariah. While North Korea's Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un hails the test as perfect, US President Barack Obama has warned it would only up the pressure. Dozens of people have fallen sick in the Syrian city of Aleppo after regime helicopters dropped barrel chlorine bombs on a rebel-held Sukari district. The bombs left over 80 people, mostly civilians, choking and in need of treatment. The 2016 Summer Paralympics, an international multi-sport event for specially able athletes, are to kickstart in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil today. 17 athletes are to represent India in five events at the Games.